Welcome back. I'm Benita Levine in Tel Aviv. Thank you so much for staying with us. Well, we continue with our focus on the coronavirus pandemic here in Israel, with concerns being raised about the flouting of restrictions in certain areas across the country and worries about the upcoming Jewish festival of Simchat Torah, which usually involves large gatherings, dancing and celebrating in synagogues and in the streets. Now, for more from the city of B'nai Brak, we're joined by our Batya Leventhal. So, Batya, we heard about clashes and arrests overnight in B'nai Brak, and now it seems the media are being stopped from getting close to certain synagogues. What are you seeing there right now? Yes, Benita, but not only seeing, also experiencing. See, this was not the original spot in the view behind me that you were supposed to be seeing. We did end up driving around and we're supposed to be sort of in the center of B'nai Brak where some of these synagogues last night in particular that saw so many ultra-Orthodox clashing with police as we started getting out to set up our camera there. There were verbal harassments being thrown at us. There were quite a few people there telling us to go away. One person even telling the crowd that started surrounding us that where the media is, the bullets are. So not just the police that are unwanted here, but us as well, which is why now we're standing here. Just behind me, you can see the road that sort of leads into B'nai Brak, but we're not going to be standing in the center there uh, due to what we deemed as verbal harassment there, Benita. And are you seeing a strong police presence coming into the city? Are rules going to be able to be enforced there? What is your sense? Well, as we drove around earlier, there didn't seem to be any police presence but it does appear that they will be coming out later. And the reason that I say this is because as we were driving around, and you have to remember with such an ultra-Orthodox neighborhood, every couple of blocks that you get to has quite a few synagogues. Some of them even look like homes or houses. And there were quite a few people that we saw sort of peeking out of the doors and kind of keeping watch maybe to make sure that the police were not coming to break up what was probably going on inside. And we did drive past one or two that had the door open. And there were definitely more than 20 people I saw for myself inside those synagogues. So very wary of police presence that could potentially come out later this evening. But as of right now, there is no police presence at the moment here in B'nai Brak. And as we wait for word from the Coronavirus Committee on the country's exit strategy, break down for us the latest numbers in terms of the infection rates both within the religious communities and across the country. Yes, Benita. Well, those numbers are quite staggering. So here in the religious communities of B'nai Brak, some of them even being in Jerusalem, are sitting at 28%. Now, to put that sort of in perspective, the Arab sector is sitting at 13%, whereas the general population and mostly secular population are sitting at just over 10%. So if you're comparing the general population to the ultra-Orthodox communities, they are 2.5, even more so, times likelier to be infected with the virus. Very, very high infection rates. Experts and the government, both medical experts and the government, warning of cautious optimism, saying that although the numbers are going down, it could just be low numbers being tested over the weekend or simply just a fad or a trend. But until they see those numbers come down completely to about 2,000 a day and with a much lower infection rate, in particular with the ultra-Orthodox, the restrictions and the lockdown should remain in place. Thank you so much, Batya Leventhal in B'nai Brak. More updates to come out of that city in the coming hours.